Numbers 31, Supplemental 3 and 5, Jeffrey Bloom, 21344FH, 22673FH, and 22675FH. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Amy Reiser on behalf of the people. Good afternoon. And do we have Mr. Killewald? There you are. Yes, yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry, what case was called? Jeffrey Bloom, would you enter your appearance? Uh, uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Robert J. Killewald on behalf of Jeffrey Bloom. Um, Jeffrey, if you're there, would you state your name for the record? I think we're still waiting for him to be brought out. Um, is there anything that we can discuss before he is here with us? Um, Judge, I, I, it looks like we, we were just, I, it, it's very fast, but it looks like we just received the transcript uh, from the, uh, well, it's coming in the mail, but I also got partial email. So it looks like the transcript from his exam is, is on its way. Um, I would just ask for a 30-day adjournment of, of the pretrial and, uh, and the subsequent violation, so I could obviously file some motions, but I assume I will have the transcript by early next week. Ms. Reiser? I don't have an objection to that, Your Honor. I'm sorry, you said no. I, I do not have an objection to that. Okay, so 30 days would take us to, we could do um, December 15th or the 22nd. Why don't we do the 15th, um, if you think that's going to give you enough time since he is in custody? Um, that should be fine, Your Honor. Okay, and no, if I, you still don't have the transcript for some reason or need additional time, we can discuss it then. But I'll set it for I'll adjourn these um, cases to December 15th at 1 30. So, Mr. Bloom, good afternoon. Um, I can barely hear you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Jeffrey. Good afternoon. Would, you, would you state your name for the record, Jeffrey? Uh, I will state it this time, but I will let you know that I didn't state it at uh, the preliminary examination with uh, Cedric 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 uh, Simpson. I wasn't allowed to, to state my name, or but it is Jeffrey Wayne Bloom, Your Honor. Uh, Je okay. Jeff Jeffrey, I, I informed the court that we're up for two things. We're up for a pre-trial on the preliminary on the case that was just sent up to circuit court. And Which you have one? the one we just finished the exam on. Which one? On both, let me back up, on both matters, the resisting and obstructing and the one with the other charges. Um, I told the judge, I just got part of the transcript in an email and I'm supposed to be getting the full transcript, hopefully by midweek next week. Um, so I will bring copies to you and I've asked the judge to adjourn your pretrial and she's adjourned it till December 15th. Uh, is that long enough, you think, with uh, nine life bit felonies and two other felonies and uh, you think that's long enough? Well, Jeffrey, I'm going to bring a copy of all the material to you and you and I are going to sit down and go over everything. Mm, okay, well... Uh, uh, there was a couple things I was hoping I was going to have a hearing today, but uh, I just wanted to say things to the a few things to the judge that, that aren't, don't have anything to do with the case. Just the, the treatment of this jail's medical staff and the uh, things that were told that I think you should make her aware of that Judge Simpson did. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to begin. There's so many things, there's so many piles and I haven't even been well, with a sand you know, Mr. Mr. Bloom, yes, those are things that you're going to have to address in other forms. I'm dealing with the cases that um, are yes, before me, um, but there are administrative remedies that maybe you'll need to pursue well, if you're dissatisfied. 
Can I ask you a question? Well, this you can talk with your attorney. I I've am adjourning your cases to December 15th. I need, to, I need to get this on record. Je Jeffrey. I put something on record. You better be careful what you say, Jeffrey. I want you in the courtroom in Judge O'Brien's courtroom. I, I, I have done nothing to stay out of any courtroom. I was lying about anyway, Judge O'Brien. I have utmost respect for you. I am aware of an individual that has recently threatened the lives of your grandchildren. He threatened to burn them and feed them to pigs. Jeffrey, 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 I will come down and see you. Oh, in no, 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 no. She needs to be aware because I'm a, a, a concerned of her safety for one thing. No one else will, will speak up. And, and you can say I'm crazy or whatever you want to say, but Judge O'Brien, you can look at my transcripts and say uh, that I am below average intelligence or whatever, but that's a crock of crap. What I'm trying to tell you, Your Honor, is I'm in fear of your safety, actually, and not, it's, it's, I will tell you the name if you would like to know the name right now. No, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I will come down okay. and see you this week, and, and this I will relate anything to the judge. the hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I would like to know one thing. Hold well, on, I gotta go to court. I gotta go to court, Jeffrey. Mr. Klasky, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm not sure what you last heard, so I'm just going to go over it again. Um, you're before the court on allegations that you violated a personal protection order dated September 8th, 2022, as well as an October 20th, 2022 pretrial release order. You're entitled to a contested evidentiary hearing on whether you should be held in contempt for violating those orders. The potential penalty is 93 days in jail and up to $500 fine for each contemptuous act. Can you afford to hire your own attorney this afternoon? No, I cannot, Your Honor. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. As to, I can set a hearing um, on this for November 28th before Judge Vandenberg at 1.30. Is that agreeable, Mr. Overwater? Uh, Your Honor, that is agreeable. I wouldn't know it. I, did, I think I informed the court that he has a future court date on the um, on the misdemeanor matter that alleges these offenses. And he, he did have a jury selection date of uh, December 2nd. But according to JIS, he had a final settlement conference today and those charges were dismissed. So this is the only thing remaining um, that's holding him. And it appears that the complaining witness did not appear uh, for the underlying offense. And seeing as the complaining witness is uh, my client's father, um, who has attempted, I think, to have contact with Mr. Klosky since the, he sought out that PPO, it seems unlikely that he's going to appear for a, a hearing date. I'd ask the court to consider releasing Mr. Klosky on bond. Um, and I I am able to go to the Lama Center. Now, I do understand that I was, because I the judge- I don't want you to say anything else, Mr. Klosky. I don't it, want you to say anything that could potentially be an admission. No, if I may. As to, as to bond, Mr. <clears throat> Doby. But your honor, this is a, this is the second violation of, of this PPO. And I think that's why there is already a date set for the 28th for the, or an adjourned date for the original violation. Uh, and then this is another violation that occurred while he was uh, released uh, on that. I, he, he must, he, the, the orders that I see are that he was given a thousand uh, dollar cash bond, but that judge Vandenberg would consider release at some point if he was um with a plan with for for cmh i assume that must have happened but there's not another order that i see in the um in the file it, given given that your honor i i would ask for a a thousand dollar 
uh, cash or, or surety bond. Be okay. reinstated. Do you think that that's going to ensure the safety of the individual in the personal protection order? I, I think I, I think a PR bond is not appropriate uh, and either remand or reinstating Judge Vandenberg's $1,000 surety bond um, would be. Well, that was before um, he vi allegedly violated the pretrial release order, right? Correct. Yeah, it, see, that's what's concerning to me, um, because this isn't just the first time. I need to set a reasonable bond if I can, you know, determine that um, that would reasonably ensure the safety of the individual named in the personal protection order. And the court also has an interest, even though Mr. Overwater, the underlying charges may have been dismissed, the court has an interest in um, whether he violated that pretrial release order. So I am going to remand you pending your hearing before Judge Vandenberg on November 28th um because i think that that is really the only way that i can reasonably ensure the safety of um i think it's james klosky if i may be so bold your honor don't say anything mr klosky mr water you're my attorney not my boss be quiet one moment no me and my dad have been getting along quite well and he has intentions on dropping the ppo so i look forward to going home and spending thanksgiving with my father okay well Thank you could tell that to judge vandenberg on november 28th at 1 30. good luck to you sir you yes. are remanded Thank you.